Hi Aries, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot, getting ready to do your reading for the Venus retrograde of October. This retrograde is going to start October 5th and it will go through November 15th, 16th. So this is going to be a time of huge transformation in partnerships. You'll either be experiencing someone returning from your past or an ex or um, just a feeling of having to either renegotiate or figure out what it is that you want in this partnership or relationship. So this reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Guys, um, you can follow me on Instagram, and you can also follow, um, add me on Snapchat under Be The Water One. So B E T H E W A T E R. So I'll be uploading daily readings there as well. And um, if you want to get a reading from me, just click the link in the description box below. All right. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to pull a card to see what advice or what you may be exper experiencing or what you may need to know during this retrograde in October. So give me just one second here. What does Aries need to know? For their partnerships, their love lives. And partnership doesn't have to be romantic. It can be with friends, family members, people that you're close with, that you have emotional bonds with. Okay. So the first card you're starting off with is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is definitely a Venus retrograde card because this represents a time of taking stock. You're definitely going to want... Uh, you're going to want to just take a look at a past relationship or a relationship you're in right now. You're, the energy is really calling for you to do that at this time. Now, let me take a look at love to see <clears throat> what you may be experiencing in a romantic situation. Flirt. Okay. It's definitely time to be more flirtatious and what Aries isn't. <laughs> But um, to be flirtatious, to enjoy yourself during this time, take the energy light. Try not to go too deep. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Try not to overthink things or worry too much during this time. Okay, so let's have a look at your spread here. This is going to be for the other person and what they're going through from their perspective um, in relation to you. Now, the past card is the Prince of Wands. So... To me, that may have been um, passionate messages back and forth between you and another person, or at least from them. I feel like maybe somebody was in contact with you quite a lot. There could have been some sexting or messages going back and forth. You have strength here. Some of you could have been dealing with Leo. Okay, but it was a very strong, passionate um Strong, passionate messages. That's what I'm picking up. Text messages or um, somebody that was maybe wanting to start something with you or start some type of, it could have even been like a creative project or start something along the lines of like, I just, the wand to me is very passionate energy. It could be very sexual energy. Okay, the current energy of this person is the Prince of Swords. So they went from being, you know, so kind of like fun and flirty. This person may have messaged you that they had like a huge crush on you or something, but you know, fun, flirty to the Prince of Swords where now they're not being so nice and maybe messaging you or they're stalking you or they're watching to see what you're doing. Um, they're saying things that it's just not very nice things to say. And it's challenged, it's crossed by the queen of pentacles. So I feel like this person now is trying to disrupt you in some way. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe you were coming across to them or are, or will be in October. It's just being very focused on work and the things that you need to do, staying in your abundance. And I feel like this person is not happy about this. They're kind of like having an attitude about this right now. You're, you are just, and I don't feel like you're doing anything 
on purpose. I just feel like you're busy or you've got things to do or, you know, you're, you're focused on anything and they're kind of like having a shit fit about this right now. Okay. What's driving this person? They have the lover's card. I'm sorry, the two of cups, which is the love card. Okay. This person wants to connect with you. And some of you could be dealing with Pisces, I'm feeling. Some of you, there could be, hi. oh, hi, Siri. She's freaking out. Um, it's interesting because I almost feel like I see two infinity symbols here. So you could be dealing with someone who drives an infinity or it's you. Um, this could also be a Libra. So it doesn't have to be, but I just feel like this person wants union with you in some way. You know what I mean? Like they want to connect with you, but the seven of swords is here. So their energy is pretty tricky. They're kind of like, I don't know. I don't trust it. I just don't trust their energy. I feel like they're just trying to take what they can get. Like it's what they want, not what you want. Um, and they have the fool card here crowning them. So to me, this just feels like this person is just throwing caution to the wind. They really don't care what the consequences are. They want, I, it's really coming through to me. This person just wants what they want. Now, let me clarify the fool. And now you have the sun. So the majority of you Aries are dealing with a Leo. I'm just going to say that straight out. This person just throws their shit out there and they don't care um, what anyone else thinks. They don't care what you think. Um, they're going after what they want to go after. It's their gain. It's what they want. And I kind of feel like because with, I feel like the queen of pentacles is your energy here. Um, you're a challenge to them because you're not really giving them what they want and it is stressing them out. Like truly, I feel this person is very dead set on getting what they want. I think like in the past, they really enjoyed, I don't know, I guess kind of like sending you love bomb messages all the time. And, and as soon as you just get busy, now they're, now they're getting greedy. Now they start getting greedy or they're, or they're trying to see what you're doing or they're checking up on you and they're just kind of like stalking you in some way. <laughs> okay. So the near future is the seven of pentacles. This is where they feel like they're going to fail. Okay. This person is like taking a look at this situation and realizing that they can't do that to you, that you're not going to, I feel like you're coming across as, you know, not moved by their craziness or their, you know, what they're trying to do, because I feel like you sense to some degree that they've got this energy here. I feel like you're pretty aware of this energy and what they're doing, or you have a hunch or a suspicion, and maybe you're kind of taking a step back and focusing on other things in your life in October, um, just to kind of see what it is that they're up to or to observe because the queen of pentacles, she tends to observe things. She's not someone you know, look, she has what she has, but she, I'm sorry if you can't hear me. She has what she has, but she's looking in the opposite direction. She's trying to figure things out. She's looking and look, here's the, the Aries. Okay. So this is definitely you, the Ram. This is definitely you. And this person is feeling like, oh, they're coming into the near future with this energy of like where they're thinking, Oh, I got to try, I got to change this up. I got to try and do something different here because they're not really my candles dying out. They're not really um, paying attention to me. They're feeling like they failed in some way and they're going to try to reconcile with you. They're going to try and um, you know, try to be kind and try to be friendly. I think they're kind of getting the hint, you know, because they went from just being so loving and warm and fun. And then as soon as you get busy or as soon as you're not sure, then they start flipping out about it, wanting to know why you're not messaging them. Where are you going? Who are you talking to? Why are you taking so long to message me back? They, they're starting to get suspicious. 
you know, and now they're getting greedy about it. Now they want to, and so they're trying to be deceptive. They're trying to, um, I feel like there's some lies and deceit here. And then, you know, like I said, in the near future, now they start re they're contemplating how they can try to bring you back in because I feel like you're not budging. So then they come back with this kindness and this apology or this charm type of energy, you know, giving you flowers. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get, act like that. I didn't mean to say those things. Um, look, they have the four of pentacles here in the position of, you know, their energy. And this is really, look at this card. It says power. This is what this person's ultimately after conquering and control. Um, they're obsessive and they're really, they, they want what they want. That's how I feel this person's coming out. And whoever is involved, they don't care. Um, if there's like, sometimes it'd be a heartbreak situation. And, and I feel like this person is doing this because they've had like so much heartbreak in their past that they don't know how to just be kind and, and, and just speak to you in a kind way and try to connect with you in a positive way. They may have been in a third party situation or, you know, they're thinking that you are, and they're trying to, um, you know, take control back or take power back about this situation. They don't, you know, and I'm, I don't know if you are, if, even if you're not, this is what they're thinking, what's going on with them. Your advice here, I feel like your video is going to be kind of short and I'm sorry. <clears throat> your advice here is the star. This is who you are. Keep remaining that way. You know, you're the stars, the star, you're the most important part, uh, part, the most important person in your life. Okay. You know, I feel like with this card, this is an energy of healing. And, you know, maybe some of you realize what this person was like. Maybe you're realizing that in October and you, and you kind of start seeing that and this person's not happy about that because you're pulling away and you're, you're in your renewal, hope and healing and faith and growth. And this is the advice for you to stay in that position. Okay. And whoever's messing around with you or, or trying to play games with you, just leave them out in the cold. Keep leaving them out in the cold. At least for October. Now their hopes and fears, they have the Knight of Swords. So I don't see this person giving up. I feel like their intent on, actually they go from the Prince of Swords to the Knight of Swords. Their momentum is building up with them because you're really not giving them much attention at this time. Um, even though there is, I do see some type of reconciliation. Um, you just staying and doing what it is that you're doing and focusing on your healing and growth is actually, driving them from the prince to the knight where now they actually maybe come see you or they start getting a bit more forceful, um, not physically, um, mentally in their communication and their words. <laughs> the 10 of cups, this person wants to marry you. I don't know. You might be dealing with someone who's extremely obsessive. And I, I just kind of felt like that they're obsessive. They're, t you know, they're tough to be around. Um, they always have to be right. So we have the sun here twice. So it could be Leo. We have strength. It could be Leo. Um, could also be an earth sign. We've got Aquarius. So a couple of different signs. The outcome is the sun and completion. So I actually feel like this is beautiful. The sun, you know, this is like things start to change. Things start to turn in your favor for you. Um, I feel like things start opening up. I'm actually going to clarify these two cards to see what the energy for the sun is. Okay. Six of swords, taking a mental break, getting away distancing yourself two of um 
pentacles making a decision about ending this partnership and this could actually be them as well um because i feel like you're going to come to realize that this person that you've been dealing with is just too possessive for you they're trying to hold you down they come in with these sweet apologies but they're not and they look sincere but their their intention is to only do this because they're feeling like they're they're failing and they're contemplating how else to get your attention and i think you're kind of like onto this I feel like your energy is like, no, this, this person is not truly sincere. They're putting on this mask, you know, they're giving me this flower, but they're hiding their face behind the flower so that you just see the flower, but you don't see them. You don't see their face or what they're doing. You can't see the expression on their face. All you can see is the flower and that, and that's their intention. Well, the magician fell out here, so it's time to manifest a new beginning. And this is something that you really need to pay attention to, I was saying, during this Mercury retrograde. Um, you know, <clears throat> you may need to get yourself out of this situation and figure out what you need to do if you want to keep going. Because I feel like there's an element of, you know, having trouble trusting this person. Okay, Aries, so your reading was quick, I know, compared to the 30-minute readings I was doing, but... I don't know today I'm running it short on time. So I will see you guys over on uh, Snapchat. Please do add me there and I will see you guys in a couple of weeks and I'm all over the place. So there's links everywhere how you can get in touch with me. All right. I'll see you. Take care.